talking with, is it right to call you Cassie Mackin? That's what everyone called you there, but it's Catherine. Yes. I wondered about that at the time, if that was a, a nickname or not. Yes. They never, uh, so I, I, of course, watched ABC most of the time. Of course. But, uh, <laughs> but, but when they weren't on, I got to see, I got to see your network. And, and the other one, which, whose numbers and letters slipped my mind. Um, well, uh, well, uh, uh, well. <laughs> I, I was wondering if you've had in your career problems because of your sex. Uh, have you been held back in the classic way? Do you have sex problems, Kathy? I guess that's what I mean. That isn't what I meant. Not you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think so. I think it takes a woman longer to, uh, to accomplish what she wants to accomplish. Yeah. And you're always engaged in a great struggle not to be thrown back into the women's pages or into women's news. Because mm -hmm. at any given moment, they're, they're much too willing to do that to you. So you sort of have to you know, make a stand and say that you won't do it. And sometimes, um, you know, you, you would even have to be ready to leave your job, I would think, uh, so that you wouldn't be forced into doing things you didn't want to do. Did that happen to you, where you had to make that decision? Of I never had to do that. Well, one time I had to say that I would never do it again, that, you know, this would be the last time, mm -hmm. and that I would never do it again. And I was never asked again. Charlotte Curtis on The Times was here one night and said, uh, several nights, but she said that she once applied for a job on a paper, and they said, we already have a woman. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they saw nothing wrong with that attitude. Yeah. They, oh, they, they saw nothing wrong incredible. with that attitude. An interesting yeah. thing happened when I was uh, calling for a hotel reservation here. I, they asked the name, and I gave them my last name, and they said, when would he be coming in? And um, then they asked the first name, and uh, no, that, I got the order wrong. Uh, when they asked the first name, and I spelled out Catherine, the whole thing, and then they said, when would he be coming in? You know, even when people hear it, they don't want to. I assume a woman would be a secretary. A woman be would be calling, making a reservation for a man. Yeah. yeah. There they are again. You do hear it, <laughs> Coming too. Coming to get us. <laughs> Whenever Rod Serling is here, there are sirens <laughs> that no one else hears. Um, were there, tell me, any inside stuff that we didn't see at home? Were there any rumors that swept the floor that you had to, were there any rumors sure. at the convention that, that never uh, There's always uh, the Kennedy boomlet, you know, that was in 68 and slightly this time around. The boomlet? Yeah, 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 that's what they call it. But that never really uh, went any place. And also the defection of the, the left from McGovern, his more liberal delegates, uh, which is a story that we went with for a while on, mm -hmm. I think, Wednesday night. And then there was the business of uh, the blacks defecting from McGovern. But none of it ever really happened. Those people were tightly disciplined and always in line on both sides, or in both instances. Yeah, there was that rumor that um, McGovern was going to try to adjourn that night, which hit about, I don't remember what time of night that hit. And yeah. it went all around instantly. I think it started with a man in the Wallace delegation and then... That was Monday night on the California challenge. Yeah. That was after the South were, Carolina the, thing. The government yeah. people thought they were falling apart and were going to adjourn. Yeah. And, and then, of course, the other side accused... Uh, I think, first of all, the McGovern people accused the other side of wanting to adjourn, and then the other people immediately accused the McGovern yeah. people of wanting to adjourn. Uh, how do you know if you've got a rumor that might cause some trouble and whether to... Who decides whether to broadcast it or not? Is somebody sitting upstairs who says... Well, yeah, three people sit uh, in those trailers I was talking about earlier. The president right. of our network, uh, is Reuben Frank, and uh, the director, Sam Kirschman, and uh, the producer, uh, executive producer, George Murray, and the producer, Elliot Frankel, and they can all talk to you in your ear. And when you... When you uh, also, we hear what Chancellor and Brinkley are saying. We hear the entire NBC program, but this is true of all the networks. Uh, all this is going on inside your How ear you while you're... talk when you're hearing all that in your ear? Don't you tend to say what you're hearing? Like, uh, get him off, he's boring. Oh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> that does happen, like that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Don't let fun. them say anything I've seen or something like that. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of doing it, I think, over and over, and you, you become accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes when they're saying something very important to you, you get sort of a starry-eyed look in your eyes, uh, or a spaced look, you know, because you're listening to them, you're not listening to what the person next to you is saying. You can yeah. see that happen. Yeah. You can see it on, on, on all of the newscasters. Most of them have learned by now not to do it, but sometimes they just suddenly get glassy-eyed and That's you know right. that something's coming in that ear that you're yeah. left out of. Yeah, and it's something important usually. I mean, yeah. they, they probably, they wouldn't bother you too much unless it was something they really had to, uh, had to get to you. Yeah. Well, um, are you watching the other networks? I mean, you know, are they keeping track of yes. what the other networks are reporting and saying, uh, come on, he got uh, Humphrey, why didn't we get him? Yeah, I don't know quite as much about what's going on inside as I should maybe, but I, I, they have all the other networks, their, their pictures up there. Uh, so they know, uh, I mean, by picture you can tell who they've got and you can tell if they're beating you. And you also know whether that you've had that, per that individual before them. Now, whether they actually, actually listen to all of the audio, I don't know. I would think yeah. that they, they would have to. Somebody would have to be monitoring all of that. Hmm. It's an amazing it's enterprise. It's a fascinating job. Yeah, it really is. Jeez. Yeah. Great time. It's a lot of fun. Thank you, Ms. Mackin. I realize now that none of us knows if you're married or not. Do you like the MS designation?
I like that. I, I, yeah, I like okay. what it stands for. I think it's a symbolic thing for women. Yeah. You know? All right, then we won't know, will we? Thank you.